having kids is paid off. <laughs> you. <laughs> you ready, Mike? Get over here, Austin. Don't drink yet. No, Bad really. luck. We're about to catch about a million straight bass right now. Yeah, there we go. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> what's, what's better than you, baby? <laughs> you know Okay, we're looking for a place to fish right now. We're just looking for contours. It's all about the contours. These contour lines that are close together tells me it's a very steep drop-off. Uh, the contour lines that are further apart tell me it's a gradual drop-off. So right now I'm going to stay and try to keep the boat right in these contour lines. Right in the contour, right in the bottom changes. And while we follow these around, we're looking over here. Our sonar, we're looking at the fish right there. We can see that's bunker right there. It's made. We're looking for some bigger stuff. And put your time in to do this. You know, you don't want to rush this part. Put your time in. Do as long as it takes to, uh, to mark your fish, you know. And we don't always uh, mark fish before we set up, but we do always at least mark bait. Staying in the bottom change. All right, look on the sonar and you can see that's bunker. The bunker's hanging right in the contour changes as well. The currents will pin the bait up against the wall. I backed up right where I wanted to be. We're still going in reverse, right between these two pieces. You look at Tommy, he's still paying line out. We have a knot at the hunter line, he's just slowed down 100 feet. Mike is in the back, he's waiting for me. He's checking the stocks and bond. <laughs> and let her go. Always off the side of the boat, right Mike? Off the side. Why do we go on the side? Uh, that's what she said to do. Let me take a minute and show you the size chum we like to use. Right now we're using three piece baits. We're cutting our bunkers in three pieces. Uh, that's pretty rare for us. We usually do halves uh, or holes. And the reason we want that big bait out there is because when striped bass uh, are moving around and roaming through this big flat area, when they come by, they may be here and gone. So we want to catch the biggest fish in that school. So, the, you know, the thinking is the bigger the bait, you know, you automatically uninclude those five, eight, ten pound fish and you know, looking for those uh, fish that are bigger. That's about as small as we go, and this is even pretty small. This is the size chum, if you look here on the board, that's the size chum we want. We don't want little tiny pieces that go through the grinder, we want that right there, like a peanut M&M. And then we'll throw it out, and the idea is to get a blanket. The idea is to get a blanket of chum everywhere so when that school roaming through here comes by it stops here to pick up those little pieces and our big baits can only be taken down by the biggest fish in that school so that's the theory behind it and it uh you know it usually works out that way we don't, we don't catch many five pounders on a whole bunker you know so here we go glob lobber we normally have the grinder out here with a sausage plate on it that makes these nice big pieces but we don't have it today but we still have the glob lobber tennis ball thrower for taking your dog in the park. We don't want it too far out, but we want it, you know, nice, we don't want it too far from the boat, uh, but we want a nice blanket around us. We want pieces that are going to stay. Use those tiny pieces. They get taken and washed away in the current. No good. If the current is really ripping hard here, we won't chum at all because the current gets, just takes your chum away and it could take your fish away and there's really not a whole uh, a lot of sense in doing that, right? So. The current is slack, we chum like nuts, and the current runs, we don't chum anymore. Load me up, Tommy. We don't chum like nuts, you know, we'll put out maybe a whole bunker every 30 minutes or something like that. Not, not too much. Alright, that's it. That's what we're getting right now. I'd like to smoke some garlic on mine, please. <laughs> Carpet of Chum, Lob Lobber, now available at Toys R Us near you, even though Toys R Us has gone out of business. Chuck it. Chuck it. Yeah.